Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to be exploring the lazy script. So if you are an ethical hacker and you don't like to do everything manually or everything as the traditional method, you can use this script to make your life easier. So I have a GitHub repository right, right here. This is the L script or the lazy script GitHub repository. And if you go down, as you can see, this is the lazy script interface. It is really cool and really flashy. So to install this, first you have to just go ahead and if you want to do the simpler method, you can just go ahead and download the zip file. And you can unzip that file and that will do it. You, you will have lazy script and I'll show you how to install that. But in my case, I'm going to be doing it the traditional way. I'm going to copy this HTTPS. Then right here, I'm going to be launching my terminal. Let's go on to the terminal and let's launch that. Okay, so now I'll increase the terminal size for you to see. Now, most of you will have git installed. To, to check that, all you have to do is have to write git version, press enter. Now, if you see a version that is more or less than two, that you, you, you are okay. If you have git installed, you will see something like this or a later or a, or a later or a backward version. So, Let's not worry about that. If you have git installed, you will see some numbers here, so as a version, and that'll do it. If you don't have that installed, you have to do sudo sudo apt get install git and press enter. Now we are asking Kali to give sudo permissions, that is root permissions, to apt get install, right? So that we have to install git in the system. So we have to, you know, configure some files. So Kali is asking for the root access. Let's write our password and press enter. In my case, as you can see, it is showing me that grid is already installed, but in your case, it will completely download and install everything. Make sure you have an active internet connection in your Kali Linux machine. If you don't know how to install Kali Linux as a virtual machine in your systems, as you can see, I am on my Mac right now. But Carl Linux is, is working as a virtual machine in my v, uh, VMware, VMware software. So that is really, really simple to do. If you want that, just leave in the comment section and I will do a next video on that. Okay. So as you can see now that we have git installed, all you have to do is that you have to clone everything that we have on this repository, on this repository to our own systems. To do that, first I'm going to clear the slate for you to see then we are going to use a git inbuilt command that is named git clone and then we have to paste the address that we have copied earlier right here or if you don't have this you can just copy the address right here in the the search bar okay so let's paste that and let's press enter as you can see it is cloning into l script but i don't want that do i Let's go on to our file system as I've already installed L script earlier. I have to delete that first. So let's go on and move this to trash and let's go on desktop and let's move this to trash. Okay. So now we have to do that again. I'm going to clear the slate and now I'm going to go on to the desktop because that is where I want to install the file. So CD in Linux means change the directory. I want to change the folder that I'm currently working on to desktop press enter and as you can see now you are in desktop let's press ls and there is currently nothing in the desktop so it will show that everything is empty okay ls is a command that lists everything that you have in the current working directory so now i am gonna uh, do the exact same command that we executed earlier git clone oh, right here now let's do ls to list everything and we have an l script folder right here let's clear the slate once again and let's then change our directory to our L script folder, shall we? Okay, now let's list the things and we have all the things that we had in the remote repository right here in our local machine. Now we would not be needing this anymore, so I can quit this. And now let's clear the screen and let's install L script. To do that, all you have to do is that you have to execute this file. Now how to do that? So first you have to give executable permissions. So install.sh has to 
you know has to configure some files so it is asking kali that hey kali can i do something so kali said first change your permissions so that i can read and write you so this command changes the permissions and makes it an executable file so that we can execute it in a terminal now you will see no output and you will just go on to the next line if that happens you are all good okay i'm going to clear that again whoops clear okay now that we have kali linux uh, i'm i'm sorry that installed it as such in an executable one let's list that and as you can see the color changed the color of installed as such has changed okay so that means that it has been into an executable file and now you can simply execute it by dot slash install dot sh okay so let's press enter and now it will guide you through everything but we have made a mistake we have to grant sudo permissions to this file so that we won't get any errors afterwards okay so we are going to write sudo permissions to the install dot sh file and let's press enter okay so now it will guide you through the process you don't have to do anything you just have to simply go on the instructions that are coming on to your screen okay now let's do this right here it is going to do everything for me okay let's go back and as you can see i it is showing me that i am updating or installing the script so i'm installing that let's press i and boom so the script will yell at you sometimes but don't feel discouraged and it'll it'll do most of the work that you want and now it'll open this window for you okay let's just simply increase the size like this okay so now it is uh, telling you to agree to the terms and conditions just press yes so right yes okay again yes press enter and boom so now you're going to just give it everything that is coming right here okay enter then right here so it is asking which interface you want to get into the monitor mode so i want to get this interface let's copy and paste that press enter then we have an eth0 interface again copy paste enter and we have everything we need and now lazy script will show up and boom we have the lazy script installed in our systems completely running now as you can see these are the normal tasks that you do in your hacking career but you can do that by lazy script in a really 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 simple way okay so as you can see you give your mac address by just pressing 8 okay i want to go on to 3 and this is my mac address in my eth port let's go enter and let's change that mac address shall we let's press enter then 3 and now it is uh, telling you that do you want to change to a specific mac address or just a random mac address that lazy script will pick i'm going to go with random now it has changed my mac address and now my new mac, new mac address is this Isn't this isn't this really really simple? You just have to press a few keys and you have done everything you need. Now I love this one, the geolocator and IP address. I am sure you will too. So first we need an IP address. So I am going to be geolocating my own IP address. To do that, I have to press seven, which is view my public IP address. Let's go on seven, and this is my public IP address. Let's copy that. Command Shift C and let's press Enter again to go on. back on to the lazy script right here you have to go on geolocate an ip address let's go on 19 press enter it is asking for the ip paste the ip and it will geolocate the ip so where is this ip address as you can see the country is india region is delhi and it is giving the address uh, exact longitudinal and exact latitudinal location and you can actually go So if you want to open this in Google Maps you can simply go choose M but I don't I would just wanted to go back press enter okay so now all we have to do is that we have to just let's see what is in tools let's go on number 9 let's go on wifi hacking tools okay so we have fern installed let's go on 10 so fern is a wifi hacking graphical user interface that you can use to crack wifi endpoints press enter and okay so let's go up okay so as you can see we have getting phone we are getting net discover okay so we are getting s s some of these so now let's go on net discover shall we 
so let's enter this this range right here and we'll discover all the open ports that i have okay so now i'm getting some errors but i'm sure in your case you will completely install everything my kali linux machine is a broke is broken a bit so it is not uh, doing anything right here but in your case i'm sure that it will simply if you want to uh, simply go on a tool that is in red which is not installed you can simply uh, do that and it will install the tool for you so i'm sh i'm going to show you an example of that so let's say we install um angry ip scanner okay let's go on 20 enter now we have to install that so let's press install and now it is downloading and installing I angry ip address for us isn't this really really good it is installing everything that we have now angry ip is in white let's press 20 to go again and now it is giving me this graphical user interface that i can use to scan all the ip address that i have in my range so let's start that and i'm getting a ton of ip addresses and a ton of information about those so as you can see i'm on a macbook pro i'm getting this as a macbook pro and it will install as you can see it is installing every single ip address that it is seeing every single ip address that it, the port has from one to this range okay so isn't this great and it'll simply check every everything that is connected on to this so as you can see in the red button case that it, there is nothing and in the blue button case there is something there is a device connected to it let's close this and let's analyze our results as you can see we are getting this we are getting this so these are these all are the devices that are connected to my network it is a lot similar to wireshark if you want to it is a lot similar to wireshark okay let's close that right now and let's press command c and we will be back onto our kali linux systems so if you like this video please smash the like button down there subscribe to the channel and comment down below which tutorial video should i do next and last but not least thank you for watching